Each year, there are more new cases of skin cancer diagnosed than breast, prostate, lung, and colon cancer combined. So let's talk about basal cell carcinoma, the most common type of skin cancer. Hi, I'm Dr. Sean Demehri, a dermatologist at Mass General Cancer Center. So what is basal cell carcinoma? Basal cell carcinoma is a skin cancer that starts in the basal cells. Basal cells are one of the three kinds of cells found in the top layer of your skin. Basal cell carcinoma make up about 80% of all skin cancers. Basal cell carcinoma is usually caused by exposure to the sun's UV or ultraviolet rays. We typically see it on the head and neck, which both get a lot of sun exposure. But basal cell carcinoma can develop on any area of your skin as well. This is a slow-growing skin cancer. It doesn't usually spread to other parts of the body. That makes it easier for us to treat and cure. More than 3 million Americans get a basal cell carcinoma diagnosis each year, so it's quite common. You're more likely to get it if you have fair skin and hair. What does basal cell carcinoma look like? Basal cell carcinoma may look like a small fleshy bump, an open sore, or a red-pink bump. It's easy to mistake these cancers for acne or harmless skin wounds, so it's important to watch for these warning signs. A sore that doesn't heal after a month or two, a growth with a wound in its middle, or a scaly spot on your skin. If you notice anything unusual on your skin, you should contact your primary care provider or dermatologist. The sooner we find skin cancer, the easier it is to treat and cure. How do we diagnose basal cell carcinoma? We look at your skin and ask you about your health history and family cancer history. We won't just check the suspicious area, we will examine the rest of your body as well. If we suspect you have skin cancer, we will remove all or part of the growth and look at it in the lab to see what it is. Depending on your risk factors, you may want to get an annual skin screening from your primary care provider or dermatologist. But we should all check our skin every month for changes. So how is basal cell carcinoma treated? When we detect it early, basal cell carcinoma is highly treatable. Your treatment options will depend on the size and location of the skin cancer and your health. Often, curing basal cell carcinoma is as easy as removing the growth. We may do a type of surgery called excision where we cut out the cancer and some surrounding skin. Another option is most surgery where we remove the tumor in thin layers. We also have advanced treatments to treat precancerous lesions like a topical chemotherapy cream that is spread on your skin. This cream is also great for smaller skin cancers and has fewer side effects than other treatments. Photodynamic therapy or PDT is another advanced cream-based drug we use. It's activated by light to destroy tumor cells and more recently, we have actually developed a topical immunotherapy that has shown high effectiveness in removing tumor cells in the skin. Other treatments we may use include radiation to destroy tumor cells, cryosurgery, where we use liquid nitrogen to freeze and destroy the tumor cells, and targeted drug therapy or systemic chemotherapy to destroy cancer that spread to other areas. Be sure to see your doctor as soon as you notice changes in your skin. And remember that basal cell carcinoma is usually easy to treat. In fact, the five-year survival rate is an amazing 100%. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Sean Demetri. To learn more about skin cancer, click here and don't forget to subscribe.